Hello, I'm Star Jack. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Star Jack, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Yeah, load it. Crouching is useful at activate stealth. Well, I know that. I just don't use it. <laughs> I just don't use it enough. Big enough items that belong to other people is crime and affects reputation. Well, I don't think I've done that yet, and I don't think I will. When your inhaler finishes off a st uh, off a stack of consumers. Okay. Right. What am I doing? Um. Oh yeah, we for some odd reason he he sent off a distress call. He then cancelled it, and it was to do with fucking toothpaste, diet toothpaste. What a weird fucking thing to. Yeah, raptodons. They're fucking mental scientists. Roseway Gardens. Slimmer than nature. Diet toothpaste. Auntie Cleo's diet toothpaste. What the <laughs> diet toothpaste? So I don't. Is there such a thing as diet toothpaste? I know there's sugar-free toothpaste, but I don't think it has diet toothpaste. Is that what they mean? Sugar-free toothpaste. No wrong button. Oh wait, they've both leveled up. Have they? Have they? No. I was to say that they're following me. Yeah, okay. It's like, what the fuck? Wrong button. Keep pressing the wrong fucking button. Fucking button. I'm playing so many different fucking games. But am I going back to the ship? Why? No, I don't want to do that. Fucking moron. Can you see your feet? There you go. You can see your feet in this game. Follow the yellow brick road. That's actually something I don't understand about the Wizard of Oz. They get lost on the one road there is, and it's yellow and it's a brick road. How do they get lost on it? That's what I don't understand. I was talking to my friend, uh, friend Ed about it, and he was like, well, in the novel they did it on purpose or something. I can't remember what he said. It still doesn't make sense to me. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, I just got covered in shit. Do that again. I don't think so. Man. Oh, wrong fucking right, it's triangle. Found a flaw in you, drug addiction. Taking as many drugs as you turn it into an addiction. When you suffer. Uh, no, fuck off. Gotta be where Mr. Jameson is. Hope he's okay. Incoming! Wrong 
Bomba. What's going on now? Fucking hell. Let's go in Facial mask, skin cream, okay. Oh, there's a lot of things in there. I might get my shotgun on actually. A tactical shotgun, what's that? Looks a lot better. Um, what else can we have? I don't really want to use the sword, if I'm honest. So I'll just do that. Okay, I've got two shotguns, one over. Am I? I can't do it because I don't have enough fucking hacking skills. Can I? Can I get my? I'm going. Can you not? No. Okay. Come on, me. Shit. Whoa. Okay, this isn't good. I'm shooting you point blank with a shotgun and it's not doing shit. Oh shit, I don't, I'll stick with a fucking pistol, I'm honest. Why haven't they got anything on them? Okay, so, let's look around. Bin. What the fuck is this? Wow. 
So where is this guy? Oh. Shooting you point blank, we you just fucking die. That's the last of them. Is it though? Is it really? Okay, right. Oh, he's dead. And he's gone ahead. Loses his head, that's not good, is it? <laughs> right. Oh, this place is just, it looks amazing, isn't it? It really is. Okay, by the way, in this one I do one quest at a time, one mission at a time. The reason why is because if I go off and do all these other ones at the same time, majority of the time they're on different parts of the map, so I'd have to run back and forth every five seconds. Whereas this time, yeah, okay, you run back and forth every five seconds, but then you've done a quest and then you can do another one. And that just makes more sense to me. It's different when you play on like Dead Island cause, and other games, because majority of the time the missions are very close to each other, so you can just go boom, 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 and then just go back. Similar like uh, World of Warcraft, if you've done a mission or a quest, they're very close together, so you just go straight back to the area and it's just easier and this one is a bit different because they're all scattered across the fucking area
Yes? Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Sorry, he's dead. That is tragic news. I never did right by him. Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. And now I'll have to live with that. Yes, you will. Good point. That's not really for me to say. Anton, I'll be off now. What the fuck? He just started attacking me. No. No, no, no. <laughs> start attacking me for? Okay, I'm gonna save it. Maybe I chose the wrong dialogue. I'm gonna wait until they disappear and then, oh god, I can't fucking go anyway. Hold on, let's um... Can't even fast travel. Okay. This is just dandy, isn't it? Go, let's go. Incoming. See ya. <laughs> I didn't do anything. He attacked me. Nah, don't worry about it. Immediately, because he tried to kill me. Bullshit. Right, let's go back. Came out of nowhere. We made it. The fuck just happened? They just appeared out of nowhere. Right, let's get. Let's get the fuck out of it. Let's get the fuck out of it. Guess that was the wrong choice then. I don't know. Fucking hell. <laughs> I think this might might be a very short episode, but oh well. Let's talk to people real quick if we can. Oh 
Oh. Felix, you got to hear this. Guess who the villain was in this week's Virginia Yang Girl Detective? Mr. Bertie Holcomb, that tall baller. That's the episode with Ruth Bellamy, right? Been meaning to catch that. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Comes from your heart, you'd say. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. Made my chest hurt, kinda. Sounds like she likes you. Yeah, yep, yeah, lesbians, I get it. You wanna bump the monkey mouse, I get it. Just, <laughs> just do it. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the veil, they didn't... They said I was cold. You're the woman of person I've ever met. To hell with them. Yeah, fuck it. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? Everything okay? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. It's pretty personal stuff to put... yeah, that's a bit weird. she cheating? Wait, are you even dating? Yeah, yeah. No. I mean, I don't know. I haven't asked her out all formal-like. I thought, well, Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? <laughs> Great idea, drink yourselves everything. It doesn't. Um... <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. Come on, Captain. This is no time to be fooling on me. <laughs> I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. I'm going to talk to Felix with you. Good to see you, boss. Oh, that's it. Okay. I love it up. Okay. Um, dialogue probably helps. Cool. Okay. Uh, perks. Here we go. Um. 
Uh, being a shrewd negotiator may cost you some friends, but you make up for a bit in bits. Nah, actually, can you do that? Yeah, fuck it, do it. Go away, Felix. Weird mate, weird nam name for a cat. Right, uh, <laughs> get old Felix. Right, let's go back to Sprank. Right, break it then. Yeah. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. centers in our minds the enemy seeks to destroy our, our, wa our way of life the fuck is that it looks like a fucking what are they, what are they called in Skyrim then that's weird like goblin things but like a lot more worse <laughs> with teeth and fucking horns coming out of their cheeks I don't know what that is So pretty much it's like un unrequited love at the moment, which between June Lay and, and Bravati at the moment, it's just, that's it. Well, let's do this then, shall we? Um, Yeah, here we go. Have either of these solved? Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch. There we go. So, how's this work? Do we get a table, stand in a corner? Okay, so, what are we drinking? You're the expert. <laughs> oh, I'm I am. Oh, I don't think I am. Don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. I mean, if it was me, I'd probably just get very, very drunk. Um. You're not much of a drinker, better start a style of a beer. Oh! Beer. I guess... Yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Beer, huh? Good choice, if you want to get unsober in a hurry. <laughs> ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Because you've never drunk before. Oh, Captain. You get used to it over time, course. trust me, and then you get a hangover, and then you realise you shouldn't have done it. <clears throat> uh, what am I doing? Generally or specifically? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh. Why did I drink that? Because you wanted to. I didn't do peer pressure you to do it. You just did it on your own. Us. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. There you go. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What's she actually writing the message? You haven't said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. Maybe it's a sister. Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? No, I don't think so. Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Uh, I think, yeah. Let's get some water. Come on, 
Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I'm a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? Don't stop, you're on a roll. Fuck if I know. <laughs> I'm here just to get some booze. <laughs> no, uh. Tell something now, you're on a Don't roll. Don't you tease me in my moment of weakness. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's. Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Then you go your separate ways. Uh, we have that in common, you know. I'm not interested in official. Well, I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? So you're afraid of disappointing her? You can't control how people react to you, or even if people care about you. What do you mean, Captain? The only thing you can control is you. Yeah. It's true. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Yeah, something to work on then. Yeah. I like the way you put that. Like, it's okay to want to be better for her, and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Anytime. Do you think I should ask her on a... date? Yeah. You still unsure? Yes, just ask her. Alright, alright. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Okay. Right. Pristine items are more shiny. No more durability. I, you know what? I've played this so many times, and I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. Oh, 
this week go for a shit. Okay. Good to see you, boss. Is that it? Is that all you can talk to me about? This is where Vicar Max will be, but I can't figure out why. No, and this. Feel I should start writing thoughts down just in case I ever start losing my mind. <laughs> okay. I'm just taking all your shit, mate. Sorry. Now, in this one, I think this is where Vicar Max will go, but I can't figure out why he's not here. Talk to her in a minute. I don't know why you can't go back to Edgewater, though. Unhabitable. What's that? Unhabitable. I see planetoids at the edge of the Halcyon system. Typhoon has nothing to offer the house on the colony, okay. Olympus, yeah. Monarch, that's ridiculous, that one. Um, I, I can't remember these fucking planets, if I'm honest. But what I am going to do is uh, leave it there, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, please.